Chief Minister Biren asserts that his government is closely observing the peace talks between the government of India and NSCN IM. Teachers of Cultural University of Manipur protest demanding infrastructure and salaries for 11 months. And eight Manipuri footballers included in 23-member Indian squad for the AFC under-19 qualifiers. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. I'm Joyce Shubhusham with the top stories and the latest news at this hour. Chief Minister Nong Thomam Biren today asserted that his government is closely watching the ongoing peace talks between the government of India and NSC and IM. He said, should the need arises, he will urge the centre to protect the historical status of the state. The Chief Minister was responding to media query at the Betty Bachao Betty Parao Sport Painting Competition at the auditorium of DM College today. Biren further said, keeping in mind the apprehension among the people that the peace talks might affect the territorial integrity, the meeting of the Council of Ministers and MLAs resolved to preserve and protect the territorial integrity of Manipur. He is hopeful that the ongoing peace talks will bring a final solution to the Naga issue. But he warns that his government will not accept if it is going to affect the territorial integrity of the state. The Chief Minister said an all-party meeting will be held tomorrow at 4 p.m. at the Chief Minister's uh, Secretariat and an all-party delegate will visit New Delhi to apprise the centre of their stand regarding the territorial integrity of Manipur. Responding to another query regarding Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh's assurance to Assam Chief Minister Sarvananda Sanowal regarding Assam's territorial boundary, Biren said a Prime Minister Narendra Modi Home Minister Rajnath Singh and BJP President Amit Shah had already made the same promise to Manipur as well. Not only the Home Minister, I have apprised to the concerned, even the Prime Minister level. The Honourable Prime Minister has already assured publicly that due to this, the ongoing peace talk and the negotiation with the NSNIM, nothing will be touched in Manipur. So I believe. Uh, in his commitment. So we are also just watching the situation. If necessary, we will go to the centre. Nong Thumban Biren said the cabinet has decided to provide medical assistance of 1 lakh rupees to OBC families below poverty line. Speaking at the Betty Bachao Betty Parao Sport Painting Competition for Girl Child of Imphal West District, at the auditorium of DM College, Biren said, Betty Bachao Betty Parao campaign was initiated with an aim to generate awareness and improve the efficiency of welfare services intended for girls and to stop crime against women. The Chief Minister recalls the revolt of Manipuri women against the British and maintains that women play a vital role in the society. State Level Committee on Betty Bachao Betty Parao, in collaboration with the Department of Social Welfare, organized the competition. 200 girls took part in the painting competition held on the themes Your Aim in Life and A Girl's Responsibility in the 21st Century. Cash prizes and certificates were also distributed to the winners of the competition and the winners of draw of lots took selfie with the Chief Minister. Rajya Sabha MP Ketrimim Babananda, Social Welfare Minister Nemcha Kipgen, government officials, parents, guardians and students attended the event. We do this in
Textile, Commerce and Industry Minister Thongam Biswajit has stated that successful implementation of Pradhan Mantri Employment Generation Program depends on cooperation of different stakeholders including bankers, officials and the applicants. Speaking at the review meeting on the Prime Minister Employment Generation Program PMEGP at New Secretariat, the minister asked the officials to organize awareness and training campaigns for applicants. He also asked the applicants not to overestimate their loan amounts while preparing detailed project reports since the banks reject overestimated and unreasonable DPRs. Biswajit said PMEGP is very crucial for the success of MSME and all stakeholders should take the initiative for effective implementation of the scheme. Minister Biswajit also chaired the first meeting of Manipur State Industrial Development and Socio-Economic Advisory Committee at his new Secretariat office today. He sought the suggestions and critical assessment of the draft of industrial and investment policy of Manipur from members of the advisory committee. Biswajit said the policy aims at attracting investors to the state. Principal Secretary P. Waifei invited the members and experts for their suggestion in the framing of the North East Industrial and Investment Policy. Waifei is the chairman of the 17-member committee while joint Secretary Textiles, Commerce and Industry Laltan Pui Vachong is the convener of the committee. An IED bomb weighing more than 3 kg was discovered near the Mahadeva Temple on Hairok Hangarok Road under Hairok Police Station yesterday. A patrolling team of 26 Assam rifles found the bomb wrapped in three layers of polythene yesterday afternoon around 3.30. The bomb squad of A Company 26 Assam rifles removed the bomb this morning around 7.20 am and disposed it off near a foothill. Acting on a tip-off, a joint team of Commando Unit Thaubal and 6 Assam Rifles yesterday arrested two cadres of KYKL from Lilong Bazar near Arapati Crossing and Salung from Ananda Bazar. They are identified as Thangjam Hemanta Maite, Elias Premjit, son of TH Kalimu Maite from Arong Haibong Makong and Saikom Sidam Singh, Elias Sanjit, son of S. Santosh of Hairok Part 1, Haitu Pokpi. One has been handed over to Lilong Police Station while the other has been handed over over to High Rock Police Station for further investigation. Imphal West Commando, led by OCP Achoba today, arrested 26 drug sellers and addicts, including four women, from the eastern side of Minutong Bridge and North AOC. All the arrested persons have been handed over to Imphal Police Station. A Chinese national was arrested from the Imphal International Airport for allegedly not possessing travel documents. Police also said Liu Peng was arrested yesterday for not possessing the Protected Area Permit, PAP, PAP. Later, he was remanded to police custody for three days by a local court. Possession of PAP is necessary to visit the border state. Police also said investigation is on to determine the purpose of his visit to the state. The arrest of the Chinese national for not possessing Proper travel documents is the third such incident this month. Deputy Commissioner uh, Kakching District in a press release said the first meeting of elected members of Kakching Zilla Parishad will be held tomorrow at 2 p.m. to elect Adhyaksha and Upa Adhyaksha of Kakching Zilla Parishad. Now it's time for a small commercial break. Coming up after the break is a protest by teachers of India's first ever cultural university, Manipur University of Culture, demanding infrastructure and salaries for 11 months. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back. You're watching Primetime English News. Teachers of India's first ever cultural university, Manipur University of Culture, 
Stage is sitting today demanding infrastructure and salaries for 11 months. They held the demonstration in front of Government Music College in Palace Compound, which is the temporary campus of the university. Speaking to media during the sit-in, General Secretary of Manipur University of Culture Teachers Association, Irom Robinro, lamented that the university has been established with no infrastructure and the teachers have not been paid their salaries for the last 11 months. He said the teachers are protesting as no measures are being taken to improve the situation even after meeting with the vice chancellor and registrar. He expressed dissatisfaction with the state government for not taking any step regarding the matter. Robin Rowe also expressed the apprehension that the university might become defunct due to lack of infrastructure. He urged the state government to look into the matter at the earliest so that normal classes can be resumed. Robin Rowe also warned of intensifying the agitation if their demands are not met at the earliest. University is hing na boydam to ihan hana waza si mayam na yana raga khale adu ga saata chulore. Masih na universiti yang jumbi uin lahir ya pak. Jumbi uin ibu si hanya yang dapat kaki mawang lahir betul nanti na. Universiti aji su untuk kopi mama dah lahir pak. Masih puna maksi ya koi na miam gi. Amade ik arah na kalsu nuksi jaba manipur gi perjaja singgi ya koi makoi gi support. Adik gi kerajaan gi support. Amade makai kudi mana support pam jaba tu gi. Universiti sing tu mateng pang biu. Koi nuksi biu kopi jumbi biu hai bagi makai rom dah koi sengen jaba na. Shiv Sena Manipur Unit and its allies submitted a four-point memorandum including demand for repeal of AFSPA and disclosure of the framework agreement between the Government of India and NSC and IM to Governor Dr. Najma Abdullah today. Speaking to media persons at Shiv Sena Bhavan, Babu Para, President of the party and Tombi Sat, the closed-door meeting between interlocutor Arun Ravi and six different organizations of Nagaland make the people more skeptical. He questioned if it is constitutional to work only in the interests of Nagaland by compromising the sentiments of people of Arunachal Pradesh, Assam and Manipur. Tombi maintains that there will not remain a mute spectator if the framework agreement affects the state. He said R.N. Ravi mentioned about introducing six schedule. An all-party meeting will be also held tomorrow at 3 p.m. Meanwhile, Shiv Sena Manipur Unit felicitated elected Upa Pradhan N. Dayajit and member N. Lata from Oinam Thingyel Gram Panchayat Langtabal constituency. Tongan Tongan Man Naat Ki Culture Ki Administration Ki Puna Maksi Ki Kainu Oma Phrem Waang Agreement Si Da Agreement Du Inna Raga Madhu Phongdu Om Dai Lau Thu Om Dai Da Su Kanna Gumba Ma Ta Khangan Da Ba Stake Order Si Di Lai Rada Na Iban Gomen Ki Kanna Gumba Ma Ta Khangan Da Ba Si Gumba Aron La Thupki Ejien Da Ma Handak Dhima Pur Da Aren Rabi Ka Haan Na Ene Shen Khakta Ka Wari Sharam Ba Do Tongan Ba Kang Lup Taru Om Ga Loi Na Na Close Door Do Wari Sharam Ba Che Medical Superintendent Rims Hospital in a press release informed that CT scan investigation which remained suspended for the last few days has been resumed from yesterday in the Department of Radio Diagnosis. The second quarter festival kicked off at Quarter Village in Tecnopal District today. Chief of Kudeng Thabi Village, Pacho Kom, inaugurated a three-day festival which is held under the theme Sustainable Development. SP Dr. S. Ibomcha, village uh, chiefs, representatives of several organizations and visitors from different places of the state attended the inaugural event jointly organized by Roof for Freedom RFF and Kwata People Welfare Organization. Different varieties of popular kwata soybum, vegetables and other products were showcased on the opening day of the festival. Chief of Kudeng Thabi Village said the kwata village existed since the reign of King Kiamba. He said kwata village is also inhabited by both Maitais and Kom and there is intermarriage between the communities. He also said they have been coexisting in times of happiness and sorrow. The three-day festival will showcase the culture of the village and its products besides musical events.
Personality and Talents Development Organization today organized a one-day voluntary blood donation and health camp at the Anthropology Department, Manipur University. More than 50 students donated blood at the camp. Event Manager of Personality and Talent Development Organization, Purnachandra Moirangcha said the myth regarding blood donation still prevails in the state and the number of blood donors is still very low. He said, Personality and Talent Development Organization has organized the camp as a start off with the students of Manipur University to raise awareness about blood donation. Purnachandra stated that such health checkup and blood donation camp will be also held in other departments of Manipur University in future. Quite a motivate on my blood, PBC, and a cry of the Amazon. I have sung the camp, Kanabo Gabbis, Missy, who is hard to sing the educator, or well educator, or hard to sing the Mohoi to motivate the Horogi. Mahoina Tanga, the Labour, Halaman, Kinataka, like I am asking this, Mohoi to motivate the Horoga, Ahoi Tungi, as I was has a question of my papa, me having Wakalans, who in terms of etology department, the Hamburg and Sanger of Tonga Tonga department in the Hoi, Maham Katara, the Hoi, Punna Kosamina, Samina, Habig, Wakalans. Students who took part in the blood donation organized in collaboration with State Blood Cell under National Health Mission Manipur appeals to public to donate blood to meet the needs of patients at hospitals. Right, uh, I want to help uh, those the people who did blood. The side effect power the ID country, the label the label the the key the label it's good to donate blood. My am hospital the my am marakta e am pangna da bamatam lego aduda kajiktang mating or issue haina issue donate also public na ep bashe am paiko isha gishu kana bane mi gishu kana bane ko the animak side the kana bane na ep p bagiche pay haina haini. District Horticulture and Soil Conservation Office Taubal today organized one day awareness program for farmers at its training hall under Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sanchayi Yojana scheme. Special, uh, subject specialist plants a health clinic of a district agriculture office Taubal, Dr. M. Priyo Bharta spoke as resource person on drop irrigation and uh, plant health. Altogether, 37 trainees from Kakching and Taubal districts attended the training program. Scrutiny for College uh, Students' Union election 2017-18 was held today. Monitoring cell of the College uh, Students' election 2017-18 has appeals to candidates and students not to violate the Code of Conduct. 18 Assam Rifles of 26 sector Assam Rifles organized an awareness program on various central and state government schemes for chiefs of village, uh, villages of Chandil district yesterday. Commandant 18 Assam Rifles briefed them on Pradhan Mantri Jandhan Yojana, Pradhan Mantri Gramin Avaj Yojana, Din Dayal Upadaya Gram Jyoti Yojana, Atal Pension Yojana, etc. 53 village chiefs attended the program. Huidrom Prafulo, 52 years, from Kurai Thangjam Lekai, went missing since the 18th of this month. He is 5.3 feet tall, thin, dark in complexion and has short hair. Porampal Police Station appeals to people to inform them if they know his whereabouts. Now the sports news. As many as 13 players who did national duty in the ongoing FIFA Under-17 World Cup were named in the 23-member Indian squad for the AFC Under-19 Championships qualifiers to be held in Damam, Saudi Arabia next month. The Indian squad, including eight uh, players from Manipur, are goalkeepers Dhiraj Moirangte, Mohammad Nawaz and Prab Shukhan Singh. Defenders Boris Thangjam, Ditendra Singh, Anwar Ali, Sanjeev Stalin, Sahil Panwar, Deepak Tangri, Amal Das, Nyamgal Bhutia and Ashish Rai. Midfielders Wangjam, Suresh and Ningto Ngamba, Kumantem, Kiam Amarjit and FIFA Under-17 goal scorer Thaunajam Jackson, Nongdamba Naurem, Abhijit Sarkar, Laleng Mawia, Komal Thatkal, Rahul KV, KP, Panjal Bhumij, Abhishek Haldar and uh, Princeton Rebello and uh, forwards Naurem Roshan, Aniket Jadav, Rahim Ali, Lalam, uh, Lalawam Puya and Edmund Laurin. 
Head coach Louis Norton D. Matos picked the squad after a week-long camp in the capital. The squad has 10 members from India's under-19 team which played in the SAFF under-19 championship in Bhutan. India is scheduled to play Qatar under-19 in a friendly match in Doha on October 25 as part of their preparation for the AFC qualifiers. India has been clubbed with Yemen and Turkmenistan and hosts uh, Saudi Arabia in Group D. They will play their first match against Saudi Arabia on November 4, followed by games against Yemen on November 6 and Turkmenistan on November 8. NC Club Kongampat and UKB Chuachanpur have entered quarter-finals of the 22nd Thangjam Birachandra and Maipakpi Memorial Men's Winners' Cup. In a match played today at SKYC Ground, Awang Sekmai, the home team, NC Club Kongampat, dropped the away team SAI, uh, SAG Utlao 5-1. For the winners, NG Nauba netted three goals in the 45th, 61st and 63rd minutes, while I Kalimba and H Dayananda netted one goal each in the 21st and 24th minutes of the match. The lone goal of Al SAG Utlao I beg your pardon, the lone goal of Sai SAG Utlo was scored by CH Commander in the 43rd minute of the match. NC Club Hongampat will meet the away team Zilengrong FC Tamenglong in a quarter-final match on the 30th of this month. While in another match played today, the away team UKB Churachanpur meet a bit the home team. HOSU Senapati 2-1 to enter the quarterfinals. 11 teams, which are winners in District Super League, are taking part in the football tournament organized under the aegis of All Manipur Football Association. FIFA today lauded India for delivering a hugely successful Under-17 World Cup, both in terms of quality of football as well as organization and said the country seems capable of hosting bigger global tournaments in the future. Addressing a press conference in Kolkata along with All India Football Federation, President Praful Patel, FIFA Head of Competitions uh, J Jaime Yerza said the infrastructure provided for the first ever FIFA tournament was world class and all the teams were happy with the organization. The final match of FIFA Under-17 World Cup will be played between England and Spain at a Salt Lake Stadium, Kolkata at 8 p.m. tomorrow, while the match for the third place will be played between Brazil and Mali at 5 p.m. tomorrow. Now, before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Chief Minister Biren asserts that his government is closely observing the peace talks between the government of India and NSCN IM. Teachers of Cultural University of Manipur protest, demanding infrastructure and salaries for 11 months. And eight Manipuri footballers who played in FIFA Under-17 included in 23-member Indian squad for the AFC Under-19 qualifiers.